Hello guys! As you can see, I removed all the clothes from the closet so I can start my cleaning. So I'm gonna do... I'm gonna cut the uh, carpet from the closet to underneath the bed. So from here to there. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna keep this one on the side. I'm not gonna cut it because the furniture is pretty heavy. So when it's done in the metal, I'm gonna put this furniture in the metal that I'm gonna work on on that side. And the same thing in the other side. So there's a furniture down here. I put all the clothes there. I'm gonna cut the carpet in the metal. Then when it's done, I'm gonna move this, this furniture and the metal that I'm gonna work on on the side. So the same as in the other side too. So let's start. I didn't have space in my room so I'm just removing the one in the metal because I'm gonna start in the metal anyway. So whatever the furniture in, the, in both sides, I'm just gonna leave it where it is. Let's wear the gloves so it will not ruin our nails. <laughs> I'm starting to cut the um, carpet using the uh, utility knife. You have to be very careful in using the knife because you don't want to get hurt. So that's why I'm wearing gloves. And of course, I did a middle section, so I start from there. Now I start rolling the carpet. It's very easy to do that rather than keep like cutting small piece so After removing the carpet, so there is a nails and staple that was left behind so we remove all that. And make sure that the floor is very clean before putting the primer. Make sure you follow the instructions and make sure you have a good ventilation. So you can apply a short nap paint roller or a fiber brush. Allow to dry completely approximately maybe 30 to 45 minutes. The floor has a white paint. It's pretty clean but the, I cannot remove the paint. It's pretty um, hard. So I started to put the vinyl floor now, make sure it does really like align and then to make sure that it's really stick on the wood floor. 